What's up, everybody? We're back at it again with another. I don't do this series that often because usually I only do it when I get into like a beta or an alpha. The point of this series is to tell you what I thought of uh, this particular game. And this game just so happens to be Hell Let Loose. So what can I say about it? Optimization. I love the way that this game looks. I don't understand how they did it, but they did it. They made it look so good. I think this is like the first indie game that I've played where the graphics just look gorgeous. Black Matter Studios comes out strong with its optimization holding up to 100 players, which is stunning considering it's an alpha. But I think it's mostly because it has a lot of open and empty fields, so I really wasn't too shocked to get a steady frame rate while walking around and in combat. I never crashed. But I can't say the same for others that I have played with. I'm not sure if it was their computer or their game, but a select few would crash while I played with them. I think this is the most shocking of all because as soon as you click on the game itself on Steam, you get into the game instantaneously. And then after that, when you're in the menu and you decide to get into a server, you get into it just as fast. Like, I'm just shocked. Like, how, how do they... How did they do this? I mean, squad, take notes. I mean, you guys are running on the same engine. Like, how, if they could do this, you could do this too, squad. Come on now. Well, that's all I had to say for optimization. Let's move on to the next one. How it felt. Now, I know that open fields seems like a criticism, but honestly, it really boosts the gameplay in my opinion. Because while playing, I would hug these hedges trying not to get shot. The game has a suppression system that really makes you feel bogged down, forcing you to call for help from other nearby squads. I would hear footsteps on the other side of the hedges, prompting me to lob grenades over the hedges hoping that I would kill an enemy and not knowing if I did or didn't until I pushed to the other side. Nobody wanted to cross the fields because you would be out in the open, obviously. The map itself seemed to really support flanking. Reminded me of the days of Brothers in Arms. Van Damsel, flank, now! You heard him, let's move! Fuck, we're moving? Okay! Suppress! Ah! Van Damsel! Side note, I was thinking about the vehicles when Early Access comes out. Vehicles, I think, aren't going to be able to go through the hedges, and if that's the case, roads are going to be crucial to move vehicles vehicles. Unfortunately, the vehicles that were featured in the alpha weren't usable, so there was a lot of walking. Which, okay, it's an alpha, so I'm not complaining. What we got is a showcase of what's to come, and might I say, I love the way it looks. On the American side, there is a Priest, four M4A1 Shermans, two Willie MB Jeeps, two trucks, two half-tracks, and two stewards. For the German side, there's a Tiger, a Panther, two Lux, two trucks, Two Kuba wagons. I believe this one is a Marauder, correct me if I'm wrong. And two half tracks. Side note. For the Americans, I would really like to see the 761st Tank Battalion back in action when it comes to the armored division. Why? Because that particular division had African Americans in it. I love their story because they had something to prove while they were fighting. And well, because the only other time that I've ever actually seen them was in a Call of Duty mission. My name is Sam Rivers. The day after the attack on Pearl Harbor, me and my best friend Jim rushed to enlist in the U.S. Army. Most of our buddies from the neighborhood in Chicago did the same. I was only 18. I barely had enough time to say my goodbyes, get packed, and marry my sweetheart Maggie three hours before we shipped out for basic training. I was assigned to the 761st Tank Battalion, which was almost entirely made up of colored folk, except for the officers. We were not particularly welcome at Camp Hood, but this just drove us to build an unstoppable team and earn the respect of everyone we met. General Patton himself saw us in action and insisted we be attached to his third army and sent to Europe. Today we're near the town of Tillet. Every other American unit assigned to take this town has tried and failed. Now it's our turn. We're all fighting for something more than just defeating the enemy. Every man in the 761st has something to prove to himself and to the folks back home. For us, Victory has a double meaning. But it's just an idea. The devs have their own vision. And if they don't add the African American battalion, well then at least give the tankers a grease gun. I think that that would fit. The classes. So as of right now, there's at least six classes. We have the rifleman class, and he has an M1 Garand. So let's hear that baby purr. Uh, I love the little ding that it makes. He also comes equipped with a grenade, an ammunition box, 
Ammunition's here! And a bandage. Standard issue. Up next, we got a assault class. He has a Thompson. Up next, we have the automatic rifleman class, which comes with the BAR. You know, I gotta say that I really love the BAR. It's a really nice gun in this game. I've used this thing a lot, and I just love it. It's my favorite weapon so far. Moving on to the next one. Up next, we got the Medic. This guy is very crucial, and I, I don't know, I had a back and forth between him because he doesn't actually have a rifle, he only has a pistol, and... The point of this character is to stay in the background, so I was kind of opposed to it, saying that I would really like him to have a rifle, but usually when you give somebody a rifle, he's just gonna go gung-ho and, you know, run in there and, you know, take as many people as he can out. But now that he doesn't have a rifle and he just has a pistol, He's gonna be staying in the background. I'm sorry, but that's what the medic is supposed to be doing. So, I don't know. I'm still on the fence about it, but I like the direction that they're going with it. Up next, we have support. He also has an M1 Grand. He obviously has grenades, bandages, and a supplies are right here. Supply kit, which actually allows the officer to place down a garrison. A garrison allows the entire team to spawn on that. The support class is very essential to winning the battle because you have to have the entire team spawn and push in. If not, then you're pretty much screwed. And we go on to the next one. We have the machine gunner class. <laughs> Now, as of right now, it doesn't have a bipod, so you have to lay down on the floor in order to shoot accurately. If you're actually going to use it, like right now in the alpha, um, it's better to shoot up close and personal because it's inaccurate if you try to shoot it with the hip fire. And it unfortunately doesn't have a reload sound animation. Like, it shows him reloading, but he doesn't have any sound. And up next, we got the officer. Which he's the one that's able to place down OPs, which OPs are like rallies from squad. Like, the only thing that they're allowed to do is make it so that your team can spawn on that OP. And they can also spawn in garrisons if they have the supplies to put it down, which garrisons, you know, obviously spawn the entire team. Garrisons typically need to stay at least mm, about a piece of the map away whereas the op could be anywhere close by but keep in mind if the enemy comes running up on that op it's pretty much gone he comes equipped with binoculars a handgun grenades and a bandage the binoculars are really used for spotting things and placing down markers i'm sure they're going to get in depth with that later but uh, we'll see how that goes now of course they're missing a couple of rifles like the uh springfield the m1 carbine the grease gun and a couple of other guns that i haven't really mentioned um, I'm sure they're gonna get added into the game later on as uh, more classes come out which I, actually I'm not even sure because my understanding is that there's going to be at least six classes and maybe further down the line they're gonna come out with like different types of groups that they'll put you into like because I know there's an armor division there's a uh, there's an infantry division and there might be a fire team division and there's a command we'll have to see how that goes so unfortunately I wasn't able to get the um, the caricatures of the Germans because they kept turning the servers off and on and I really didn't want to wait anymore for them to actually make the map bigger because it was small so I just said fuck it so I ended up getting all the weapons that I was able to shoot, so here's a bit of a montage. So the STG is basically the support class, and its equivalent to the American is the bar. And then here's the medic class. This guy gets a Luger, but it basically functions as the same thing as the American class, so...
Up next we have the support class and he comes with a card 98. Um, he's the one that puts down supplies so that the officer can uh, set up garrisons for the German side. This actually has a like really cool loading animation, I think. So yeah, there's the supply. And this one is the assault class, which is a gear. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, it's a gear. And then we're back here with the Rifleman class. Uh, he also has a Car 98. Car 98s, I believe, are the most common one, common weapons, I believe, in the German military. Just like how the M1 Grands are. Correct me if I'm wrong. But this guy is basically like the equivalent of the Rifleman on the American side, where he's able to place down ammunition boxes. As we'll see in just a second. Yep, there we go. So I was unable to film anything for the MG42, so I had to dig back for old videos, so here you go! This is literally like the only MP40 uh, footage that I could actually find in, in my uh, library here. So in my honest opinion, I had a lot of fun in this alpha, and the game still has a lot of potential because it's still missing vehicles, it's still missing a lot of the stuff that they have on their uh, Kickstarter, like they, they promised a lot of things, so we'll have to see when it actually comes out. My understanding is that uh, vehicles are going to be added in early access, I think it is, but this is definitely a game that I'm going to be looking forward to in uh, the near future. This video took a very long time to make, it took me about 4 days, and it's not even that long of a video, just thought I would throw it out there. I want to thank Skull and Bones for giving me a couple of pictures that I could use in the video. I want to thank Easy Company for being my actors. And also, I, I gotta thank Knox Cooperative for giving me a copy of the game. Thanks, man. Without you, I wouldn't have even, you know, been able to touch this game for a while. So, uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and click that bell notification. If you would like to talk to me, join the Discord. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye bye <laughs>